here in YouTube land have been over the Chesapeake Bay Bridge in Maryland, but that's what we're about to do. So, they have, they have bridge police, they're everywhere, make sure you do the speed limit. Um, if you have an easy pass, you don't have to wait in the line over there. Um, I got an easy pass. Um, you're supposed to go through here at 15 miles an hour. You know, I've gone through as oh. fast as 50. You just got to be careful. <laughs> and here we go. Okay. That was at 40. <laughs> um, they have all the... So there's two spans of the bridge. Depending on traffic, sometimes they open it. So there's two lanes on this bridge going eastbound. And the other span has three lanes. So depending on traffic, um, they'll open up one of the lanes on the other side of the bridge to help help the flow. So you'll actually be going like on oncoming traffic. And if you can see the, the little arrows on the bridge, they'll turn them into red X's. And um, you can actually shut down one bridge completely and there'll be two-way traffic on this bridge. And there's some little tidbit facts for you. If the wind gusts are 60, 65 miles, something like that, they'll actually close the bridge altogether. Like they just close it. Um, certain amount of wind, it'll be, you know, uh, like tractor trailers with an empty load will be restricted. You can't come on the bridge. Um, if there's a crash on the bridge, so here's something unique when there's a crash on the bridge. So like right here, if somebody were to crash and back the back the bridge up, fire apparatus can't get to it. So one of the things they do is they actually close both bridges when a crash happens. They send the apparatus over on the other bridge and then they'll come up the wrong way to where the crash is. So needless to say, both spans of the bridge gets closed in a crash. Oh my goodness, it backs traffic up terrible. Um, just a couple small tidbits. It's about four miles long. I didn't, uh, I'm not looking at the speedometer or the, uh, the mileage to see how far, but it's about four miles. this span of the bridge you would have to go up to 95 like go up and around this part of the Chesapeake Bay to get over so it basically takes you out of Annapolis Maryland that's on the west side and then we come on over to Kent Island which is on the west side and then this takes you over to the eastern shore of Maryland so if you're going to Ocean City going to like Delaware beaches wherever you might be headed so again this is Chesapeake Bay Bridge in Maryland Maybe I'll pick the camera up and see. You can see a lot of people out fishing already. Seems like there's always construction going on. Rolling the window down. So. Yeah, all the 
the fishing boats out there doing their thing. two-way traffic and all that this is where you switch back over and get on your proper eastbound and westbound lanes of route 50 so that was it next stop cracker barrel <laughs> 